Nerve toe. It is a hyperextension dorsiflexion injury to the big toe first MTP joint. This injury tear the insertion of the plantar plate from the proximal pharynx, which leads to incompetent plantar sesamoid complex. It is seen more in contact sports when they play on rigid surfaces. The big toe MTP joint is positioned in hyperextension and the forefoot is fixed to the ground and with axial load to the heel, the plantar plate sesamoid complex tears. The sesamoid can fracture or proximally migrate. You may have an occult fracture of the proximal pharynx. When you classify these injuries, they can be a sprain, or they can have a partial tear, or they can have complete tear. Injuries. There are many factors implicated in increased incidence of turf toe. It's combination of multiple factors. One of them is increased hardness of the artificial turf. Another one is increased flexibility of the shoe and could be also other factors related to the patient, like the weight, the age, the kind of a sport, and factors related to the foot itself. These injuries are seen in a lot of sports, but are common in football players. How about the clinical picture? Symptoms. The patient comes with pain, a swelling, unable to push off. You examine the patient. The patient will have plantar swelling and tenderness and ecchymosis. The vertical Lachman test is positive and various and valgus instability is present. Always compare it to the other side. You will get an x-rays. You see either fracture or proximal migration of the sesamoid. If you see that in an AP X-ray, it means complete rupture of the plantar plate. And the sesamoid will not move under fluoroscopy with range of motion of the first MTP joint. Treatment. These injuries have the potential to be a chronic problem, such as hallux valgus or hallux rigidus. Most of the athletes and the coaches perceive this injury as a small one, trivial one, and return to sports without sufficient time for healing and recovery. And approximately 50% of these patients will complain of persistent symptoms like a stiffness of the big toe or hallux valgus after more than five years after the injury which will lead to chronic disability and prevent them from competing. When you treat these injuries, most of the injuries can be treated conservatively with ice, rest, taping. You may want to give some orthotics, molten extension. The more severe ones, you give them a boot or a cast for a few weeks. Then after that, you start therapy for motion. Surgery for repair is rare. You do it if there is failure of conservative treatment or if there is a grade 3 tear, means complete tear. So you will repair the plantar plate to the proximal pharynx through a plantar approach. You may excise the sesamoid partially or completely for fracture. And the return to play usually about 3 to 4 months after surgery. What is the late sequelae? It's hallux rigidus, which may need Morton extension or surgery called chelectomy. Thank you very much. I hope I was helpful.